Today on Let's Talk, we have with us Dr. Greg Oda, and he's here to talk with us about two subjects that he is very uh, uh, in integral in, and one is the AFICPO mm -hmm. USA Festival, and the other is uh, New Life Empowerment Development. Welcome, Dr. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank congratulations you. on the work you've done, and it's, I know it's been successful in Jonesboro and probably other communities as well. Yes, you have. First, uh, tell us a little bit about the AFICPO, and make sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. AFICPO. AFICPO. Right, that's Thank it. Thank you, AFICPO. AFICPOUSA.org. It's an organization that I got involved in in the 90s when I lived in New York and New Jersey. We started this organization from, uh, with people that are from Nigeria, but a particular area of Nigeria. We okay. speak the same language, we have the same culture. And there's a festival we have once a year called New Yam Festival. The yam is not like the yam New you yam. have here. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like the potatoes you have here. Not a They're a lot bigger okay. and they're stable food where we come from. So once a year at the harvest time, we harvest it and we celebrate God's gift back to us based on the harvest. That's what the New Yam Festival is. Tell me what is... Uh, so important about this yam? Does it, have, does it, 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 it saves, is this, is this a staple food that? It's a staple food. Okay. Uh, like in the U.S., you have meat is your staple food. Correct. The carbohydrates are the support. We eat carbohydrates and meat is the support. Yes. So yams, uh, we pound it, we boil it, we roast it. We eat it all kinds of ways. We eat it for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner. So it's a very staple food, just like rice is. So when we harvest a good crop, we celebrate God for it. That's what the New Year Festival is. And this is a festival that, that takes place around the country every year somewhere, yes. right? Somewhere in the country in the United States since we started it, it takes place somewhere. Last year it was in Indianapolis, Indiana. In Indianapolis. In Indianapolis. This year is in Jonesboro. And this year is in Jonesboro. Now right. it's been in Los. An it's been in some major cities. It's been in Los Angeles. Yeah, it's been right? in San Francisco. It's been San in San Francisco. Francisco. It's been in uh, Colorado. It's been in New York a few times. It's been in New Jersey. It's been in uh, Tennessee. It's been everywhere. So I'm guessing it's coming to Jonesboro largely because of your role in it. Yes. Okay. Somebody nominated me actually because <laughs> I've hosted it a few other times when I lived in Indiana. And in New Jersey. Okay. But ever since I moved here nine years ago, I haven't hosted it. So they thought it was time for me to host it. That's why Very nice. Yeah. Well, tell us a little bit about it. What's, it, what's going to happen at the festival? What can people look forward to? You can look forward to a, a great time. What we do in this festival, everything we learned to do at home, we replicate it here. The great. dances, the food, you know, the presentations, it's all duplicated here to the best of our ability, including the masquerades. The we, masquerade? Yes, we bring uh, all that here. There's drumming, there's dancing. There's, uh, see, when we celebrate life, we do a lot of dancing. Absolutely. Where I come from, so we're always dancing. Very That's good. why we wear light clothes. <laughs> I like the clothes. Well, tell me what, what this is called. Uh, well, it's a lace jumper. That's what we call this. It's lace. Lace? Mm -hmm. The all style right. is called a jumper. A jumper. Yeah, I don't know all why right. it's called that. It always has two side pockets. Okay. Sometimes they give you a breast pocket. So the pens yeah. are usually uh, much bigger than your waist, so you have a tight string to tighten it to your size. It's loose feeding because it's hot. Is that silk or is it cotton? It's cotton. It's cotton. It's so cotton. it's very breathable it's in this It's very weather. breathable. And it's got holes, too. <laughs> and it's, got, ah, see. it's got a lot of holes in it. So you not only look good, you, you feel comfortable. Yeah, I hope I look good. <laughs> you do look good. I promise Thank you. you that. Thank you. That's, yeah, you're very comfortable. That's very, very comfortable. comfortable. And, right. it's, uh, and that's classy attire. Yes. That's, yes, yeah, it is. We have more elaborate attires. If you come on that Saturday, you'll yeah. see some things you've never seen in your life. I promise you that. I'd love to. <laughs> Tell me about what Sunday it is. It's Saturday. It's on Saturday. a Saturday, August 5th. August 5th. It's at the Pavilion. Okay. We start the party at 7. Okay. There's no admission fees, but we expect you to leave some on the table. Now, which Pavilion? The ASU Pavilion is 2605 A Street. Okay. Right on campus. Okay. It's right next to the stadium. Okay. It's right on the lake. On the lake. There. Yes, the on stadium. the lake. Okay. 7 o'clock, 2605 A Street. 7 p.m. on 7 Saturday. 7 p.m. on Saturday, 5, August 5th. August 5th. All are invited. 
Or we ask, we're going to feed you, we're going to entertain you, leave us a donation so we can help those people. Are you going to feed, feed with uh, oh, feed Nigerian food. Nigerian. Yes. It's going to be enough food. yams for everybody to taste it. That would be, uh, that's got to be, you know, I don't know. I've had um, Ethiopian food, which mm -hmm. is it's fabulous. Close. It's close. The Nigerian's going to be similar. It's close. Yeah. Yeah, okay. uh, that Ours is, might be a little tastier. It might be a little tastier. A little tastier. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little spicy not gonna too. Have, I'm not going to start a, a war of words here. Because no, no, we're uh, not going to do it because no. I can't win. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, that would be wonderful. That would be, could be delicious. Yeah, and you get to taste what we eat at home. Yeah. What our stable food is. We don't eat a lot. We, traditional, we don't eat a lot of meat. We eat a lot of correct. fish. Most of the, a lot of the world is that way, yeah. correct? We don't eat a lot of meat like you all do. Yeah. We eat fish, mm, meat maybe, mm -hmm. once in a while. We're not, vegetables. We're not, yeah, potatoes. a lot of vegetables. Carbohydrates, no, that's carbohydrates. Yeah. yeah, and it's a lot of it can be eaten by hand. Yes, you, most of them we eat by hand. <laughs> yeah, and uh, that's that's good. And now these yams are mm -hmm. uh, how do, how do you serve those? Tell me what you do with them. Okay, the yams they look like potatoes except they're much bigger. Okay, so they have a back on them that you could peel off, and all you see is white. Now there are several ways we eat them. We cut them up and boil them. And we dip them in sauces. Sometimes we dip them in palm oil with salt and pepper. Sometimes we roast them in fire. Sometimes we slice them thin and fry them. Sometimes we pound them. Have you ever heard of food called fufu? A fufu have not. Okay. Fufu is a dough-like substance that we eat with our hands. Okay. But we prepare a sauce. So you take the dough and you dip it in the sauce and you swallow it. Very nice. Right. Yes. So we can pound the yam into that also. So there's all kinds of things we can do with the yam. I got you. Yeah. I got That's you. why it's a stable food. That's why we take the time to celebrate it. I got you. You can use it for all kinds of things. Very good. You can feed the baby with, with the yam. And that's what feed you're that dough. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, it's like potatoes. Now, now the festival also is mm -hmm. a fundraiser because yeah. this is to send some some charity back yeah. home to yes we're a 501c3 mm -hmm. and one of the things the way we give back to our community one of us is our orthopedic surgeon he's the head of the medical mission committee he takes a couple of volunteers with him he pays his own way he buys the drugs he takes it with him back there uh, and he does he treats people for a whole week I and see. we give him money to support him it's a so medical mission it's a medical mission Mm -hmm. All the things are free. All the things we do at home are free. That's wonderful. Yes. That's wonderful. Yes. So we, we have some record. If you look on our website, we've performed uh, tens of thousands of surgeries, eye surgery, eyeglasses, teeth extraction, HIV testing, all that stuff that they usually don't get. We so give you, them all of that. You're having a, so you're having a celebration and at the same time... Right, doing some good for your community back Amen. in the back in, in, yes, in Nigeria. Yes, sir. That's Isn't what we that, do. That's a win-win. Yes, that's, that's a win. That's why we don't charge at the gate. We do not charge at the gate. No, we're not. We're not charging at the gate. We can't charge enough for what's in your heart. Uh huh. So if we tell you to pay fifty dollars to come in, that might be all we get. Right. But if we let you do it out of the goodness of your heart, after you see what we do, might be a hundred or two. Very nice. So that's that's why we do it that way. That's right. Yeah. So give what you can. Yeah. Give what you can. We're not going to pressure you. We'll leave an envelope. No speeches. None of that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's very nice. That's very nice. That's so, a good and thing they for do two communities. Thing. Yeah. We do this thing every November. Okay. There are a lot of uh, nurses and lay people who can volunteer. All we need you to do is buy your ticket. We'll find your accommodation there. We'll make sure you're safe until you return. And they do this thing for a whole week. He takes a vacation that time, Dr. Egu, just to do this. Right. And whoever is willing goes with him. Very nice. And, and that's the AFICPO, USA.org. USA. Yes. You, you can check it out online and, and learn all you, you right. might want to know. Yes. And if not, they can reach they can, you or they can reach someone me. else. 870 uh -huh. 273 9633. That's my personal cell phone, and I'll answer any questions you have. Very nice. Very nice. Now, the other thing I want to talk to you about is mm -hmm. New Life Empowerment Developmental Centers. 
Yes, yes. And that's, that's this is a, also a not for profit, not not for profit that mm -hmm. you have started up yes. that has provided computer skills yes. and uh, I think Wi-Fi or, yes. or yes. broadband at least for mm -hmm. for a lot of people with who need that type of opportunity. Yes. Uh, New Life Empowerment Development Center is uh, a child of New Life Empowerment Ministries, okay. which God used me to start as far back as 2008. But at some point, I had this passion to find a place to share technology with the less privileged. So I came to the city. The city didn't have any building. But while I was talking to the city, we came up with this idea about doing it a mobile uh, uh, lab where we acquire some laptops and use local churches as our hub so the kids who don't have cars our parents can't take them to the library to come to the church and we take our own internet with it so while in the process of trying to service a few after school programs the housing authority came to us they already had a lab they were in charging for it they gave it to us to operate from there and we've been there ever since. We started with two laptops. We now, the city has given us 12 brand new laptops. We've acquired about 38 of our own. People have donated and we've bought some. So we have about mm, 39 laptops right now and 10 desktops that are in the lab. So kids do come. We help them with their homework. We teach the basic skills from how to turn on a computer to creating a PowerPoint. We've mm -hmm. done that. We are in our second year now. So that's what we do. Very nice. We are partnered with a couple of organizations here in the city. We've helped Amen program once. We are currently servicing Family Ties, which is an after school program, another not for profit organization. We are going through uh, a 12 week course right now with Miller's Temple, a local church in North. Jonesboro, we have seven adult students who are going through the class. They'll get a certificate at the end of it. So when they finish, they're able to turn on the computer, turn it off, get on the internet safely, create a Word document, do a PowerPoint, or create an Excel spreadsheet. So those are the things we do. My goodness. <laughs> right now, uh, at 601 Marshall, we open from nine in the morning during the summer hours, to 1 p.m. Now, I'll tell you the reason for that. I need a summer and the kids need a summer. If you let the kids, they will stay indoors the whole summer. The idea is to shut it down <laughs> so they can go outside and pray and right. play and interact with one another. If right. you let them sit in the lab, they will be in front of the computer the whole time. They will play, they will play on games the computer. all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and one of the things we do with them is right now, last, last summer, I put them through the 12-week course, and we liked what we had. We had a lot more kids. We had structure. Family ties were giving us food, morning and afternoon, so we were able to keep kids. We don't have it this year. We, we are feeding them on our own, so we have scattered attendance. So what we do now is when they come in the morning, we put them on a game called Nitro Type, no matter how little they are. It's a computer-based game. It's a race game. But you have to type the words on the bottom of the screen for your card to advance. So it forces them to use the right buttons and the right fingers to type. The better they type, the faster their car goes. So we'll have them do that for an hour. Then we'll let them play, play some mindless games. Then we'll put them on something educational. We'll feed them and send them home. Very nice. Those are the things we're doing right now. That's fabulous. That's fabulous. I'm enjoying myself. Well, I bet you are. Um, Tell us how you, you piece this all together. You have partners, you have uh, grants. I have, I have a grant. I've got two grants from the city that was very helpful. The first year when we started this, we got about $2,500. But uh, let me tell you, man, $2,500 don't sound like a lot of money. <laughs> but when no. you're starting off, you don't know if you're in the right direction. And the city gives you a grant. Man, that's tremendous. It's that good. is tremendous. Shortly after that, Best Buy gave us $7,900 to go find 100 African-American kids to teach web development. We really? didn't find students, but we tried again. 
So Best Buy, the city, a couple of McDonald's restaurants in the city give us food to feed the kids. Ah. As a matter of fact, two of them, the one on Johnson and the one on Stadium, they give us food to feed the kids. I see. Uh, there's a Cartridge Express. Without any of this, 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 what we're doing won't be possible. There's a Cartridge Express. Okay. It's next to where Kmart used to be. Okay. He refills uh, cat ink cartridges, but he okay. also fixes computers. So when he heard what I was doing, he has been our partner since we started. If we have any computer issues, we take it to him and fix it for free. Is that right? Yes. If we have viruses, we just drop it off. He takes care of it. Those are charges. You know, I hear that so many times in, in my position that mm -hmm. uh, just the, the kindness of, of our business people in the community and, and doing volunteer work and yes. trying, to, trying to help our, our community and our kids. It's, it's good to hear stories like that. Yeah, Cartridge Express, we can't trade them for anything else. If our computers break, we take it to him, he'll fix it. The only thing he will charge us is the, for the part, not a penny on top of it. Not a penny. Yeah, because we're not non-for-profit, he wouldn't even charge us taxes. Just so we're able to deliver. Can you tell me any, any success stories of, of uh, people that you've helped? Well, several. Okay. We have, uh, we're partnered with, uh, can't think of the name right now, Experience Works. Okay. It's an organization, they uh, send people 55 and over to be retrained. We have one of those. And what we do is we put them through the rigors of learning the computers. The real success stories are the kids. The little children, 10 years old, who can create a PowerPoint with sound in it. And we have a few of them. We have a few, when they went back to school uh, from last summer, their tapping skills were ahead of their classmates. Just because of this nitro tap game that I told you about. So we have a few that are still with us that come to the lab. Some of them, uh, not necessarily computer-wise, one of them, one of our star students, he had a really bad attitude when he came. <laughs> but I'm African, we're disciplinarian, so I won't tolerate some things. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he has changed, he's our best ally. He will come exactly. in there, he will sweep, he'll clean the computer, do whatever you ask him to do. So those are our success stories. They come to the lab readily. You, you won't tolerate to. the bad attitude. We no. need to have another let's talk ex expressly f to talk about this. Bad attitude. About a bad <laughs> attitude and correcting that, yes. But that, that's a whole different to. episode. Yes. yes, sir. We'll uh, do that some other time. <laughs> <laughs> so those are our success stories. We have some adults also who have come and used us to find a job. That's good. Who have helped some people redo their resumes. Print it out for them without charge. Yes. Yeah. So we, we have some of those. Tell us where your business is located. It's at 601 Marshall Street. It's okay. on the corner of Belt and Marshall. Okay. Belt runs parallel to Johnson. Yes. Close to ASU. Okay. That's where we're at, 601 Marshall. So housing development is the first building on the left on that street, Marshall. Do people need to call before they come? They so can. They show up? Okay. They can. The, the number, the physical number to the lab uh -huh. is 933-6462. 933-6462. But if you wanted, if you just want to call the development center, it will also, it will ring on my admin assistant's phone, it will ring at the lab, it will ring on my phone, it will ring in three places at the same time. It's 277-1799. It will ring in all three places. So if we're not in the office, we're able to answer it and tell you where we are and what we're doing. Very nice. Those are the two numbers. Excellent. Well, Dr. Greg Oda, it's been a pleasure Thank you, visiting with you on Let's Talk. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for having me.